Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're looking at the scriptures today. And uh, we're looking at quite a lot of things over the next couple of days. And I want to look at a scripture in the Old Bible version, King James, it says in Acts chapter 2, 36. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. And then in the NIV, Acts chapter 2, verse 36, it says, Therefore let all Israel be assured of this. God hath made this Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Both Lord and Christ. That's amazing. Jesus Christ is Lord and Christ. What does that mean? What it means is is that whether you believe in Buddha or Mohammed or whether you believe in yourself or whatever, there's only one Lord and that's Jesus Christ. He has all the qualifications. He's, he was a prophet, priest and king. He was the son of God. He fulfilled all the prophecies in the Old Testament. No other religious leader ever has done that, fulfilled all the prophecies of the Old Testament. It was prophesied that the Messiah would die on a cross. It was prophesied the Messiah, the soldiers would cast lots for the Messiah's garments. Only Jesus fulfilled these prophecies. So only in him is he the true Lord. Muhammad is not the true Lord. Buddha is not the true Lord. You yourself is not the true Lord. Jesus Christ is the Lord. And if you want to be forgiven before God, if you want to know what truth is, you've got to seek it in Christ. He's everything. Okay? Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Acts chapter 2 verse 56. Thank you for listening and God bless you.